Hey y'all, it is Glam Game Rebecca, and in today's video, I have um, something that I was waiting on because I ordered Black Friday stuff, but then literally a week later, they launched something that I saw on their Instagram and I tried to buy it um, during Black Friday stuff, but it wasn't out just yet, so I had to wait for everything to arrive, and of course, due to Black Friday and slow shipping, and of course, the brand being the brand, I didn't get everything in time. So, in today's video, we are going to be unboxing two different boxes of ColourPop. I'm gonna start with the um, smaller order first that I had to wait for them to finish launching it before I could buy it. And then we will get into the rather large box that I have. If you're curious to see what I bought and why I bought it and what I'm keeping, because there's a couple of bundle items that I got, so I'm not keeping everything in the bundles, um, then keep watching. And if you're interested in buying any of the things that I do sell that I don't keep, I will leave the links to my website and Poshmark listed down below so you can visit there to buy whatever you want. And I do list the prices for the items, whatever color pop sells them for. So what I'm not going to price gouge anybody. So whatever I paid for them is what they're going up as. So I'm going to roll my intro and then get right into it. With this one here, this is, um, it says ColourPop with Love from California. This is the newest palette that they launched. I'm just going to get everything out of the box so I can move the box. Now, this order cost me $63.72. That includes uh, discounts, uh, shipping, taxes, all that kind of stuff. So total, I paid $63.72. Trying to separate stuff. And this is a bundle that I bought. I wanted at least two of the items um, and they didn't have bundles of the two items specifically that I wanted so I wanted to I went ahead and got a bigger bundle because the color combinations that I wanted were not available for purchase as a bundle so this is their Aurora struck palette which is stunning it's like the Aurora Borealis palettes that I have from a couple of other brands and or at least the color story is more like pastel and even though there's some lighter shades or at least it looked like there were lighter shades on the photos that they posted on Instagram. Um, I wanted to check it out because I love pastel colors. I don't wear them a whole lot because I, um, you know, I forget about them sometimes. But this is, it's one of their mega palettes. So here is the palette. So the top two rows are very pale. Um, there's a couple of those shades in here that are like matte with hateful glitter. The top row, there's one here. Um, this one looks like it may be one as well and then all of the rest of the shades are some sort of like shimmer shade uh, this one may be a hateful matte with, with glitter so the top two are very very light but they're mostly like shimmery shades or the matte with glitter um does it tell me what they are no are there any with eye warnings no so i don't see any warnings on here about you know don't use around the eye but there's a pretty good smattering i liked the darkness of the mattes on the very bottom and there's quite a few like duochromes in here from what it looks like on the pictures. So I can't wait to play with this. I got it in just the other day. My cousin was here Friday and I showed her the palette. So I did actually get a chance to look at it while she was here. So I had a sneak peek of what it looked like on the inside. Um, so I'm excited to use that, but I didn't want to use it before I had showed it on camera. The other items that were in the bundle, this is one that is a so dewy duochrome face gloss in the shade panoramic i am not keeping this i can't do sticky stuff it like really creeps me out but doesn't smell like anything it's like an iridescent purple shade and i think the fact that the camera's blurry makes this look more accurate Let's see if i can zoom you in a little Here we go. It's pretty, but I can't do I can't do sticky stuff on my face. Like gloss that's sticky, I can't do that either. It's it's the texture of it. I can't do it. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this. Then there is a light stick. Now I have one light stick already from ColourPop, and I actually have mine out on the counter because I used it. Ooh, I used it recently. This is in the shade Starbright. So I'll show you this one to give you an idea of what I already have. It's like a light, beigey, shimmery, like champagne-y color. And then this one here is in the shade Sky, Sky Watcher. It looks like it's like a blue duochrome green. I'll swatch it. Oh, it's definitely blue. 
This is like that Nebula hider for, highlighter from NYX that I really loved, but it's creamy. So this will be beautiful. I can't wait to use this. And then I have this one here. It's one of those like lip oils, but it's in a really strange color. And if you guys watch, um, oh, my brain just died. What's her name? Um, I just watched her last night. Uh, makeup just for fun. She does a lot of ColourPop unboxes and stuff. And she said, if you own one lip oil from ColourPop, you basically own them all because they all do the same thing on the lips. And this is in the shade, I already put the box down, totally magnetic. And it's this really pretty clear with like iridescent crystal looking micro shimmer. So I will go ahead and put this on. It's like really pretty in the thing. I don't have any of their lip oils. I have their lip crumbs. I have um, like their lip stains. I have things like that. I even have um, a lippy stick. Oh, and I have these little eyes here. This is from ColourPop. This is their, this is glowing lip. But this is from the Peach Collection. So I have a few of their lip products. Kind of has a hint of licorice smell. Not quite sure. Let me... Just a very fair hint of like anise or licorice that I'm smelling. And I'm not noticing the color. Oh, you can see it. All right, I'm gonna zoom you guys in really uncomfortably close. Yes, my skin is all pissed off because I put um, a first aid beauty product on it the other day and it completely freaked out on me. So, um, and it's very light. I have some lip oils that are like super like thick. Let's see if I can grab them down here. Mm, or not. I guess I moved it back into the bathroom because I don't see it. I think I put it back in the bathroom because I use it in there like to go over my lips um, after I put something on it to hydrate at night. And I put this one over it. It's, um, I think Stella and Grace is the name of the brand. Anyways, it's really, really thick. I got it from an Ipsy and then I bought one as an add-on from Ipsy. They're like $18 and they're always sold out because they're really that good. Uh, but yeah, I'll, like, I'll definitely keep this at my desk and use it. The highlighter is beautiful. And then the palette, I can't wait to try it. And I have a few other things that I need to try. So they're going down here in a tray. Item. So there's that. Now for the big box. It's going to take me a second to get this up here because it's big. It's, it's big. Okay, so I wanted a bundle, but it was like $100. Let me go double check that price really quick. I, don't, I, I want to be accurate. Okay, so the bundle retailed for $99. It's $116 value. It's currently on the website for $49.50, and I paid... $49 thanks to Black Friday. So I'm even, I even say 50 cents more than what they have it for right now. So I'm gonna dig all the pieces out for it. Cause there's, there's a few. All right, let me make sure. One, two, I'm looking at the website. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and that does not go here. So. <laughs> oh, I guess I would take out the slap. Oh, or I could just look here and it tells me everything that, that you know, I'm just, yeah. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, Halloween is my favorite holiday. Um, it's always meant something special to me. I call it Samhain because that's what it is to me. It is Samhain. I am a tree hugger, so there's that. Um, so with this collection, I got the Hocus Pocus palette, which I will open and show you the beautiful nature of it. I was happy to see with the first launch that they did, the palette just didn't speak to me. Of course, I would have bought it had I had the money just because Hocus Pocus, because Hocus Pocus. But, and I love Winifred. I love Bette Midler, Sarah Jessica Parker, and the other lady, I can never remember her name, but she's hilarious. Um, but I was glad to see, there was a couple of brands that came out with Halloween palettes, but this one was the most inexpensive of them all, so which is why I bought it. But this has um, some, some blur issues due to my camera. It like will not focus on the palette because of the metallic background. 
Anyways, so it has this really pretty like pumpkin orange shade and this really dark like eggplant. And it's got this Tone Midnight Black shade and this like dark forest like hunter type green. And I was like, ooh, because the other palettes I was looking at that were Halloween themed had that orange and that purple and they were like 40 something dollars. I was like, but I could buy the entire thing after Halloween for $49. So, you know, nah. Now this here, I don't think I'm gonna keep. I will show it to you because um, I don't really use anything like this. I, I, I don't really go anywhere. I don't leave the house. And when I do, I'm usually got, you know, clothing on. So I guess this is for more people that actually go outside. This is the Hocus Pocus Shimmering Body Powder from Soul Body. This is called Find the Book. Book. How do I get into it? Hello? Okay. It's got a thing on it. It smells... It, it smells good, but it, it smells almost like they're shimmering body oils. And this looks like it's got like a bluish green hue to it. I don't want to touch it because I'm not going to be keeping it. Oh, little plastic thing slid out the side. Look at this. It slid out the side as I was closing it. Darn thing. Get your ass back inside. No, get inside. So I'm not keeping this. This was one of the items that came in this collection that I wasn't going to keep. Um, just because it's a ginormous fucking highlighter and I just don't need it. So that's one of the other items that I wasn't going to keep. Now, um, actually I probably ought to put it back in its thing because it makes it easier when I go to ship things out because, you know, most packing and shipping places like to drop kick your shit in the mail. The next item here is their mascara. This is Butcherson BFF Mascara. This is supposed to be like a bricky red color, and I've wanted to try their mascaras for a while because I want to see if I like the wand, but this is a really pretty color. That's It's like this like purplish red. Why is my camera not wanting to focus on literally anything today? We'll have to try this on camera and I'll have to use my little Pacifica thing here with the mirror so that I can show you what it looks like on the lashes because my camera hates me today. So I'm definitely keeping this. I've wanted to try their mascara for a while. So there's that. Then there's this. These are super cute. These are little cat ears. And I think they're clips. They are tied into the thing. So let me see if I can relieve them. Oh, okay. So there's a little clip down here. Oh, they're soft. I'm just going to pick them from my hand. So it's got little... Alligator teeth. And gosh, that's soft. I'm just going to... But it's cute. So I figured I would get this because my hair is starting to grow out now. Ta-da. And now I can just pet my head. That works. Um, the next thing it came with were three lip products. These are So Glassy. I don't think I have any of the So Glasses. I do, however, have some of their lip products from last year, so let me grab those. I have two of them. I have Hello Boys, which goes with the Sarah Jessica Parker one, which is this companion. And then the other one is Winifred, which is called Tonight We Fly. The other one was like a neutral shade, and I didn't keep it. Um... But I wonder how this corresponds with the black. It's like a blackish one. Tonight we fly. This is a lip creme from them. Oh, the lids are different. Okay. This will be cute together. Look at this. Whoops. Hang on. Let me. There you go. So this is from last time. This is from this time. It is a black looking lip gloss with micro shimmer. Let's see if it's gritty at all because I don't do gritty lip glosses, so. Ah, oh, it's thick. But, it's thick. A lot thicker than the lip oil I put on a little bit ago. But the black doesn't really translate, so it just adds a little bit of sheen. Let me look at it up close, really quick. Oh, you can see the micro shimmer. All right, let me lean in. OK, 
camera probably won't pick it up very well, but it's there. So there's that. I'm definitely going to keep this one because, you know, I just put it on my face. Then we have this one called We're Young. And this one's doing some weird, weird modeling looking stuff. You probably just need to swirl it. But it's like an orangey shade, so I definitely won't be keeping this. I didn't keep her, her lipstick either because I didn't care for the color. It was a really neutral shade, but that's, you know, her character. And then this one's the Winifred one. And because I just got the lip oil that's very similar to this, I'm not going to keep this either, so I'll get rid of this. So there's three items right there out of this collection that I'm certainly not going to keep because, again, why keep something that I already have, something very similar to it? And I, I saved money by buying the bundle, but also somebody else might just want the one item. And on my website, I ship worldwide, so there's that. On Poshmark, they don't. Now, the last things on here, are these are all Jelly Much shadows. I only have a couple of Jelly Much left. One of them dried out. This one here is called Big Ego. It's the only one I still have left. So these are like cream products that you can use basically anywhere on the face. I wouldn't recommend putting them on your lips though. These are like for eyes. You could use them on highlighters. You can mix it with a body lotion and like smear it around in the body. So there's that. So this one here is a really pretty like purple shade. This is Come to Play. So this is Sarah Jessica Parker's one. Then we have this one from Winifred. It's called I Am Calm. And it is a like white iridescent one. I'll take the lids off the ones I'm going to keep for just a second. And then this one is Shka Baby. Uh, Sh Shishka Baby. And it's a really pretty orange. But because I know how these, these dry out, I don't want to use something I'm only going to use a few times. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. The, the color is pretty. But I don't need it. Um, I want to keep this one because I can also use it as a highlighter. So that's, there's this one. This is the one for Winifred that is I Am Calm. And I was going to keep this one here called Come to Play. But to be honest, I don't want another one to go dry. So I will list it for sale. If it doesn't sell within the first like 30 days I have it listed, then I'll probably just put it in my collection because these do dry out. Uh, they don't dry out that quick, but they do dry out. So And this one here is an iridescent multi-chrome. So, and it's purple, so I don't need another purple one. That one's purple with like micro shimmer in it, so it looks like a glitter. So that is all for the Hocus Pocus collection. I will definitely be using the cat ears because they're super cute. And, you know, I actually have hair to put them in now. So there's that. So I'm getting rid of two Jelly Much, two of the So Glassy and the highlighter so far out of this. And again, you know, I saved money because the palette itself, let's look. So the palette was 24, this is 9, the mascara was 10, and this is 10, and the ears, the ears were also 10. So if I had paid retail for these, 24, 34, 54, 64, plus 9. So... Was that $73 right there? And I paid $49. So I think I got a really good deal on that. Um, which is why I think getting rid of one, two, three, four, five products from this collection is still okay to me. Now, on to the next stuff. Now, the next thing it has, oh, this is hair stuff. Now, I bought hair bundles because it has been, um, you know, nine eight months since I cut my hair. I cut my hair in May um, and it was quite short and the majority of my hair back here has grown down to a length where it's acceptable. So what I want to do is the long hair that was all left on top, I'll take the cat ears out so I can show you that really quick. If I didn't warn you this is going to be a long one. So basically this is what how much hair I kept, right? And all this stuff was shaved down to the scalp. Now, I want to take this, what's left, and do the tips on it. Back in the day, we used to call it tipping. Uh, we would literally, for people with short hair, we would use gel or a product and go and like stick all their hair up or pull it away from the, the scalp and let it dry. And then we would come in with bleach and do the, we would hand apply the bleach on the tips. Or we would paint on um, a foil. And we'll use this as an example. Okay, say so this is a, a foil with bleach on it. We would then go on the hair in order to get tips. That's how we used to do it. Or 
like the guys that used to have the like Caesar haircut where they'd have just the tips of their bangs done. We would just do that by doing a small amount and then either holding the hair out and painting it on with our hands or we'd just reach in and grab a handful of it and just kind of just grab it and go. Um, so that was my idea for this. So I got a purple collection. This is from Violet. Uh, this is the color conditioner. This one here is the hair tint. It comes in a tub, and then there's little purple hair clips that are similar to the ones I just took off. Let me show you the little tub this comes in. So it's a little jar. Um, I don't support products like that. Uh, oh, what's that one brand that sold everybody's credit card information a while back? They have all those Venus palettes. Um, and Bo Deer used to be their leader, and she dressed up as a Hitler copy for Halloween and thought it was cool. So, um, Lime Crime. So Lime Crime has something similar to this and I don't support that brand due to all the things I just mentioned. And then there's also Arctic Fox that a lot of people are familiar with and I don't support that brand either because the owner of that brand thought it was really cool for April Fools to like prank that she was pregnant and then like 12 hours later say that her baby died. What? Wait, that's not a prank. That is fucking heartless because women like me who have had miscarriages and stillborns think you're a fucking bitch. Just saying. And yes, I still have documentation that she did this. So come at me if you want. I got receipts. So then I got, um, Jason helped pick out the colors uh, a while back. So I added them to my wish list and I just bought stuff off the wish list. Oh, and I didn't even say, um, I didn't pay for most of this. <laughs> I'll explain that in a minute. Um, everything that I'm showing you now was $260 and 16 cents. So I also have the turquoise one and the turquoise hair tint and turquoise little clippy things. So these were things that I bought specifically so that I could do like tips on my hair and then make fun colors with my hair because people did ask me to do fun colors. And I wanna do a like how to video on how to do tipping yourself at home. And I'm gonna walk you through it as a retired cosmetologist. I am licensed to do these things or I was licensed to do these things. I have no problem educating people on how to do it um, in ways that we would have done it in a salon. I will talk about pros and cons and all that kind of stuff. So there's that. The next item on here, um, oh, I did get one. Let me get some of these items. Because there's a big bamba jam on the bottom. So I did pick up one of their BFF mascaras. This is an Act Natural. Oh, no, wait, this is their new one, Act Natural. So the other one had, did I open that? Yeah, I opened it. It was like the hourglass one, and I hate those. But this one here is supposed to be a different wand. Oh, it is. It's one of those voluminous wands that is, like, super bushy, like a Christmas tree. It stinks, but, you know, most mascara does. So I'm excited to try that. So now I have a different type of mascara from them with a different brush, and it's black. So that's three mascaras I've gotten today because I got one in a boxy charm. So, I'm excited about that. Now, the next thing on the list is the PF Concealer in Light 45W. I have one concealer on here from a BoxyCharm unboxing that I did before this. This one here, I have a couple of concealers from ColourPop. They were way too light. This one here, I'm hoping is going to be better, so I'm going to put a little bit of this on really quick. Okay, for just a little bit, it did a really good job hiding my dark circles, and it's a perfect skin match. I will put some on the part of my hand that doesn't have the other concealer, which is why the highlighter's smeared in the middle. <laughs> you can barely see it on my hand. It starts here and goes down, so it's right in here. It's a little darker than my hand, but my face is also a little bit of a different shade. It's a little tacky right now, but look at that. It did a really good job covering my dark circles. Holy cow. It like super neutralized that purple. So this is a yellow base. I'm a yellow undertone. You can tell on my chest I'm very yellow. So this will work not only as a corrector, but also as a concealer. So I'm glad I got that. And the shade. It was 45, uh, 45W. Because I have some that were like, I have a foundation for this 005. Oh my God, it's like white. So I have 15 and I have five and these are like, I mean, I'm pale, but holy shit, these are for like people that are lighter than me. And I didn't know there was people lighter than me because like I've never been able to find products that were light enough until Elf came out with those camo concealers. So yay for that. 
The next thing on here is the gel moisturizer from Good Molecules. This is the Good Mood gel moisturizer. I did test this out. I haven't had a reaction to it. Um, I tested this out for like a week. It's a very lightweight gel moisturizer. I think it would be really good for somebody with, um, well, sensitive skin. There's a little bit of fragrance in it, but also like if you have oily skin, that would work. Then I have this dewy... Uh, night, night Dew Hydrating Jelly Mask. This is a very thick, it's like one of those like sleeping masks. Very thick. It stinks like cucumber. I hate that about it. Um, but it, my face seemed to like it until I put a first aid beauty product on my face and it like completely freaked out. So my face has been very dry, very freaked out lately. Then we have this lippy stick. This is from um, Snitchery. I never, I never followed who she was or anything, but this is a lip liner and one of the lippy sticks. Now, I don't have an actual lippy lippy stick from ColourPop, but this is in black, or I think it's a black shade. And it's like a brownish black. I do have a lip liner too. I mean, I usually just use eyeliner. Yeah, this is like a brown black as well. So it's definitely a brown undertone black. So I picked up this um, because I have like black lipsticks that are like liquid lipsticks, but I didn't have one that was like a cream that I could wear. So I got this because uh, I, I was going to do Halloween looks this year, but then other stuff happened with my health and I didn't. So there's that. The last thing in here, this is Roll Play. This is a shimmering dry oil. I have one of them. It's like a pinky shade that I got a while ago that I use it for um, cleaning up poison ivy in my yard because it keeps me from having a urishery, urishreal uh, um, reaction. So it's all condensed into one spot so I can show it to you right now. But it's like this really pretty lavender color. And just so you know, if you put this on after a shower, when you go to bed, however long later, whether it's 12 hours, 24 hours, or two hours, all of this will be on your bed. All of it. So your bed will be sparkly for fucking days until you strip it and wash it. So word of warning. So this is a lavender. Now you can see a little better. It's a lavender dry body oil and I get super, super dry, like to the point where like you like brush my arm and like flakes go flying off. So I'm excited to have another color of that because the other one is technically outside in my gardening stuff. This was an add-on that I picked up at checkout. This is... Ew. It smells like plastic. This is a brush roll. And I think this was like twenty something dollars. And not that I need brushes. Fine. I don't own any brushes from Color Pop, but I figured this would be great to do like a giveaway with. So that's why I got it. I don't need it, but I got it. So this I'm definitely not gonna keep. This is gonna be going for like a giveaway kind of thing. Um, cause I do want to do a giveaway at a hundred thousand subscribers or a hundred subscribers. So the last item in this box, which is why the box is so big, is this. This is the Super Shock Bundle. This I think retails for like a hundred bucks. Let me go check. It's a hundred and fifty dollar retail value. Um, or $150 of what the original cost of this was. Uh, it has a retail value of $175, and I got it for $79. Whoops. I'm trying to move some stuff out of my way so I can get to something. So I have, now there's a few missing because they're over here because I've used them, but I have a pretty decent, like, Super Shot collection, um, and I have very few neutral tones because I don't wear them, but what I wanted to do because, and this will make sense at the very end, now that my camera's flashing red, I gotta hurry up. Um, I wanted to get this because not everybody had a good year this year. Not everybody could afford to get themselves anything. Some people were saying that they hated Christmas and that they're broke and one person didn't even put up their Christmas tree. Amanda, I'm looking at you. You know, it's up to you if you wanna put a penis in your living room or not, you know, celebrate pagan holidays and call it Christian. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So I got this as a way to look through what I owned in my collection and pick out shades that I didn't have and then I'm just going to turn around and give these away as like holiday gifts for those of you that don't have anything that for holiday, you know, gifts. So um, these will be given away to my friends on social media, like especially Facebook. There's several people in mind that I have that I wanted to send something to. And um, I was either going to let them pick them or just ask them like some generic questions like, what are your favorite colors? What colors do you wear or not wear? Um, what are like, tell me like what you do with your makeup kind of thing, which would help me pick out of here what they actually got. 
And again, I'm gonna go through and see what in here I already own, but there's these like really cool shades, like this one here. That's like a swirly pattern. It's really neat. And then there's a couple of split pans. So you have this one here that looks black, but it's not. It's like a purple shade and a lavender that looks like a dual crown. There you go. You can see the shift. But like, there's three of these in here that are like awesome like that. Now I have the, there's a pink and an orange split in here. And I already have a shade like that pink. The orange shade, I have something similar to it, not quite as vibrant, but I already have shades like this. So this is a really good thing. Not only do they get two different colors, but I already have one of the two colors. There's no point in me keeping this because I have something similar to it. So this would be like really great to give away as a gift. So that was my thought process behind buying this entire huge super shock thing. Now, some super shocks come and they, they feel super dry. Some of them dry out a little faster than others. They always want to keep the lids on and like sealed properly so that they don't get air exposure because they do. They're more like a creamy formula. So, you know, there's that. Now, to get into prices, I paid $260.16 for the big box. $63.72 for the other one. Again, that's including shipping, taxes, all that kind of stuff. Um, there is like free shipping for XYZ orders or orders over XYZ amount. Whether this, this first, the, the little one qualified for free shipping, I can't remember. I'd have to go back and look at my order. Now, how was I able to afford $300 worth of makeup? I won the ColourPop giveaway for Thanksgiving and I'll stick it here on the screen so you can see it. I won a $300 gift card to ColourPop's website. And I'm like, I will go get on my wish list and I'm gonna put a whole bunch of stuff in my cart. And then I was like, oh, I can finally get the Hocus Pocus collection. So now you understand why getting rid of these items isn't a big deal to me because technically I paid $20 of my own money for all of this. Everything here, I paid 20 something. It was like $22, I think is what I got charged total. So selling off the, the five items from, from the Hocus Pocus collection and one item from the other collection. I'm not bothered by it. Giving away 10 super shocks or more to people. The only thing I'm going to have to spend is shipping and that's it. That's literally all I'm spending here is the $20 I paid for whatever I was owed after I bought that. I'm like, what a freaking steal this was. And I waited till black Friday to use it. So I was getting 70 to 80% off of everything I bought again, which is why I could buy a brush roll that I don't need that would make a perfect item for a giveaway. So that is everything for ColourPop. If you stayed this long, leave me a gift box emoji in the comment section down below to let me know that you made it this far. I will be doing some sort of giveaway at 100 subscribers, whether it is product, brushes, makeup, or a game like on Steam or a gift card or something like that. I will leave it up to you guys what you want me to do. Um, I will put a price limit on it and let you guys know how much it's, it's going to be value-wise. And um, you guys get to pick your own gift at the 100 subscriber mark for this channel. I didn't really do milestones with my other channel that's got almost 4,000 subscribers. I didn't do any of that with that one. So I want to do it with this one. So anyways, thank you guys for sticking with me this long. It is a very long video. I had a lot of stuff to get through. And I only have one other like Black Friday thing to get through, but I'm not filming that today because I'm like out of breath. I need to go eat something. I go to work at three. It's now one o'clock and I was supposed to game with Jason until I went to work today. But I had these videos to get filmed because now I can actually play with the stuff that I bought that's been sitting here for two weeks. So anyways, I will see you guys later. Have a fantabulous day or night wherever you are. Bye.